Hey, this is Paolo from the NBA Academy, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make bases like the ones in the track Saving You by Edland, but it's the Air K and C5 remix. So, this is the original track. And this is the bass we're gonna be making. But before you get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more. Showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So, with all that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so first thing is going to be the notes that we're going to be playing. We're going to be playing E, B, and C, which will be 1, 5, and 6. So that's the progression. You can copy it if you want to follow along with the video. So now let's get into Faceplant. Okay, so now here in Faceplant, the first thing we're going to focus on is the oscillator setup. So the first group that we're going to create is going to be some noise. So let's add noise here. Let's add a filter. And then let's high pass this noise. Like this. Then we're going to add one sine wave. And so basically what we are creating right now, if we bring this a one octave lower, is to have a sub with some noise. Nothing super special. Let's bring the level of the noise down. Now, this makes sense when we add something like distortion, for example. So if we add overdrive and we boost the drive, as you can see, you have a very strong sub plus a really cool texture in the noise. Cool. Next thing is going to be the harmonic content of the sound. And this is very, very cool and special. So let's just add a group and we're going to add uh, an analog oscillator and then an output. So if we now play this, that's the sound we get. Uh, now, of course, it doesn't sound as harmonically rich as the uh, final result. And that is because we actually need to stack different harmonies of the same saw wave. So we're going to copy this. And for example, we can change the octave of this saw wave. Let's do it. 19 semitones, which is one octave and seven semitones. So if we now play this, that's the harmonic we get. Let's bring the level down. Now we can also boost this one seven. And let's bring the level down. Now let's add another one. Uh, let's hold control and then let's do one on 12. Then let's add one more and let's leave that one in zero. Now it's all about balancing these harmonics. So what we can do is, for example, organize them from the highest pitch to the lowest pitch. So this will be the highest, then this one, and then this one. Uh, and then we can just try to balance. So for example, if we boost the ones that are the highest, the harmonics of the sound changes. And if we bring the ones that are lower, Those are the harmonics that we get. Cool. So the specific combination that I used was using like 60% on the 19 semitones one, or actually let's just use more in this case. Uh, and then on seven semitones, I did something like 40%. Then on 12, I did 80% or let's do 75. Let's do this one, 90, 75, 40. And then on this one, let's do um, 50. Now we can also add unison, which is very, very cool. Uh, and then let's just add a filter at the end to cut the sub. And that will be um, the sound so far. Cool. As you can see, this is just um, a matter of playing and experimenting with the different harmonies. Uh, and you can just experiment and add uh, different ones. Like 
like that. Like this. And so yeah, it's just experimenting with that. Now let's add a chorus. And then just some reverb. And this reverb is not for mixing it. It's just for demonstrational purposes. Um, so it just sounds a little bit more in context in the in the video, not just straight off bleeps and bloops from Facebook. <laughs> So yeah, that's it for this sound and also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any of our future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.